Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of locating and comparing numbers on a number line. This is standard 6.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Dana has got four different points here on the number line, negative 24 thirds, negative 9 halves, 7 halves, and 15 thirds. And we need to find the one that is incorrectly placed. So this seems like a pretty straightforward problem here. We have a number line that is only in integers here, and we have a whole bunch of points that are shown as fractions, specifically improper fractions. So what we need to do is we need to change our improper fractions into integers or decimals. Then it should be pretty, pretty easy from there. So how do we do that? How do we change from an improper fraction into a decimal? Well, there are several ways to do it, but what I find the easiest way to do it is to simply divide up. If you can always look at any type of fraction as an incomplete division problem. Because if you, if you look at it like this, if you say negative 24 thirds, right, can also be shown as, uh, sometimes you'll see it like this, right, 24 and then a slash thirds, well that's the sign for division. It's the same as 24 divided by 3. You just haven't finished it. So think of division as, as just the continuation of a fraction problem, and that makes it easy. So let's just divide up. Let's divide our denominator into our numerator in each of these four problems, and we'll see what we get. So we're going to go 3 into 24. Well, that's easy. That's a fact. That is 8. And let's just double check. Yes, we're good to go there. So negative 24 thirds is 8 is as long as we put that negative there. It's a negative 8. So we took the negative off just to divide, but make sure we keep this negative back. Because 24 divided by 3 is 8, so that's going to equal negative 8. And let's check how we're doing on that. P, negative 8. That's good. And we'll just do that for the next few, and we'll be done. Negative 9 halves is going to be 2. Divide up the 2 into 9. Just realize you're going to need a negative up there in the division bar. So 2 goes into 9 4 times. Uh, so 2 times 4 is 8. Now we don't do remainders. What we do is we add a decimal. You can always add a decimal. And as many zeros afterwards as you want to. And now we can bring down and we can keep dividing. So 2 goes into 10 5 times. And there we go. Negative 4.5 or negative 4.5 because four and a half and four and a half make nine, so that makes perfect sense. And I'm thinking this is going to be our problem. Take a look at that right there. That Q is, it's in between negative three and negative four, so that's actually negative three and a half. Negative four and a half would actually be right there. That's where this should be. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be our answer, but to verify, we got to make sure that R and S are correct. If they're not correct, then we did something wrong. So 7 halves, well that's just going to be 2 dividing into 7, and 2 goes into 7, what, 3 times, that's going to be 6. No remainders, not in 6th grade, we don't do remainders anymore, we just add decimals and add zeros, and we just keep going unless it's repeating. 2 goes into 10, 5 times, and there we have it, 3.5, and that makes sense. If you want to think about it, 3.5 times 2, or 3.5 plus 3.5, right, that's going to make 7. So 7 halves is 3.5. That makes perfect sense. And we're good. That R is in the right spot, 3.5. So let's just check S. Oh, that's going to be easy. 3 into 15, that's a fact. That's going to be 5. There's no remainder. Let's just double check our S is at the 5. Our S is at the 5. So P, R, and S is correct. Our issue here is this 7 halves, because that is at the wrong spot. It's at negative 3.5. It should be at negative 4.5. So our answer is going to be G, point Q.